Time for Time Force! This was a pretty interesting show. Uh, it has the Power Rangers from the far future coming back in time, but sadly the Red Ranger died. And they're gonna have to track down an evil mutant who's, well, been created and been outcast by society of the far future. So if you can't rule the present, then it'll just rule the past. Our past. And the way there, they also encountered the ancestor of their Red Ranger. And, well, the meeting goes well as you expect. But, nevertheless, as the Time Force Rangers are here to stay. And they're later joined by the Quantum Ranger. Who, just like Tommy Oliver being the Green Ranger, didn't get along with the Power Rangers at first. Yeah, noticing a theme here with these Ranger shows. But anyway, hey, hey, this is a entertaining and awesome show. It has a lot of dark subject matter, like racism, some coming in terms of what happened, and what will happen, and and will. That's probably one of the saddest endings you can imagine. Spoiler alert: after defeating the mutant, or rather reforming him. Um, the Pink Ranger, who was in a relationship with the original Red Ranger, of the original Red Ranger, uh, 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 who tragically died in the hands of said evil mutant, and had a, now had a full-fledged relationship with the his, with his aunt's sister. Uh, and well, uh, that was time for her and her comrades to go back into the future. Uh, no pun intended. It, but yes. It was a sad end. Both the Pink and the Red Ranger had a romantic involvement with each other in this show. The Pink Ranger herself was pretty awesome and she practically led the team on several different occasions. And as for the Red Ranger, he was pretty cool. Well, I mean, he had a little of a daddy issue with his dad. But hey, don't we all? Oh, and well... Well, the show ends with the two lovers parting ways. The only thing that irks me, they didn't kiss. Well, come on, if Kimberly and Tommy get away with kissing, how could those guys didn't? That was the grounds for a kiss. Yeah. But hey, who am I? I'm not a writer and director of a Power Ranger show. But yes. Nevertheless, this was an amazing show, and I give it a rating of a. Uh, uh, 8 out of 10. It was almost as good as the last entries, but still pretty good.